All right, guys, welcome to day 28 on the Daily Psalm series right here. You know it, we're going to read Psalm 28 in this video from the New King James Version. So let's get into it. A Psalm of David. To you I will cry, O Lord, my rock. Do not be silent to me, lest if you are silent to me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry to you, when I lift up my hands toward your holy sanctuary. Do not take me away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, who speak peace to their neighbors, but evil is in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them according to the work of their hands. Render to them what they deserve." Because they do not regard the works of the Lord, nor the operation of His hands. He shall destroy them and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, because He has heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in Him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song I will praise Him. The Lord is their strength, and He is the saving refuge of His anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Shepherd them also and bear them up forever. And that's Psalm 28, guys. But I'm just really wanting to ask you a question today, as well as myself. The question is, what is in our hearts? What is are our intentions what are our desires let that be in line with the word of god because when you trust in the lord you will be helped but if you trust in yourself you're going to be let down the bible even says cursed is man who trusts in man so it's so important to completely have your heart set on christ Completely with your whole heart, trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding. So the question is, what is in our hearts today? Let's take a bit of time in our quiet time and search our hearts and ask God to purify our hearts. Ask God to take out whatever is in there that's not from Him. Maybe it's an intrusive thought that you pondered on. Maybe it's a selfish ambition. Maybe it's something inside your heart that needs to change. And ask Him to take out of your heart what doesn't belong there. I challenge you today with that to pray about it and ask God to cleanse your heart. And it's a daily process that we would on a daily basis be purified even more and more as the blood of Jesus cleanses us. Always acknowledge the blood of Jesus that covers you. You know, I feel like the Holy Spirit led me to put on red colors today, as you can see. And it's so significant because today's video is for you to know that the blood of Jesus is what sanctifies. The blood of Jesus is what purifies and cleanses us. So let's pray. So, Father, I just come before you right now in Jesus' name. I thank you for your word. Thank you for Psalm 28 today. Lord, I just pray that you would cover this person watching today with the blood of Jesus. So we plead the blood of Jesus over us today as we pray, Lord. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, that we are cleansed and purified in our hearts. We ask you that if there's anything in our hearts that don't belong there we pray that you would take that out sift out all the uh, evil intentions if there are any all the selfish ambitions if there are any all the negativity in jesus name and i thank you father for your grace your mercy upon our lives lord let us continue to seek your face let us continue to check our hearts and to guard our hearts father we thank you for this in Jesus' name. And I pray a blessing over the person watching today as well, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. The blood of Jesus covers you in his mighty name, I pray. And I want to encourage you to join 
in on the daily psalm series here make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on to join in for one psalm a day so with that being said i'll see you again tomorrow for psalm 29 god bless and peace